Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. Let's take a look at the swing one more time. Go. So now, as you can see, in the back swing, all you do is just uh, bring the turn everything back to this position. And then when you start the downswing, so the pelvis goes first, and then try to turn everything together. So it's a fairly upper body muscle driven swing here. Down the line view. You go. Yeah, you see, if you look at your right elbow position here, eh? it's kind of stuck here. Yeah? Tendency of uh, stuck here. Yeah? So when the elbow comes down here, yeah? you know, to make the space your body has to go slide, then this can work. Yeah? If you let the right elbow go in front of your body by developing good motion early on with the shoulder and body motion here, yeah? then let it go, then the elbow goes in front of your body. So let's work on um, the rhythm more than anything. We need to speed up the backswing okay. and to connect the backswing to a downswing uh, well. So for that, let's use the uh, rope. Uh, this rope is uh, completely flexible here. So you can uh, manipulate it. And then, but this is actually really good for uh, practicing this throwing action, releasing action. So as you swing the rope back and forth, your goal is to move the end of the rope around your body nicely. Like this. Instead of dragging. So pay attention to motion of the end of the rock. Your goal is to move this point around. So this is connected to the body. So consider this as a part of your body. And as you swing around, your goal is to move the end of the rock around your body. So you hear this uh, push sound. Too flat, currently it's too flat. So the rope is almost going here. That's one thing. And also, again, your goal is to move the end of the rope. That means you have to pay attention to overall acceleration and the deceleration at the end of the rope. Instead of just a quick motion here to see where the rope goes. Rather, you have to move the end of the rope around the back, make a large arc. better now. The back swing is too slow, let's speed up the back swing. Yeah, in general the motion is fairly slow. So look at this. So give me the wish sound. But that doesn't mean the, the end of the rope is hitting your body hard. You have to go slow down. So you have to control the motion of the end of the rope. Your focus is on the end of the rope. That's better now. That's better. But at the end of the back swing, the rope to slow down, slow down too much. So, at the end of the back swing, it will go here and then it has to hit. So in front of you, uh, your chest hit. Your, your shoulder is wide, so uh, this rope is a bit too short for that, but uh, wait until this happens. Instead of just, it's just a slow down and then drops here. Let it go all the way. Again, your goal is to move the end of the rope all the way here. And so in doing this, what's important is maintaining the tension. So here, when you swing the rope, 
we can certainly swing the rope like this, then the, the rope doesn't have that much tension. Then you have to use your hands quite a bit here. But if you have good tension, this happens. Without moving the hands that much, with a little, a little motion of the body, it rotates fast. Yeah. So that's what I want to see. So as you swing this around, your goal is to throw the end of the rope instead of dragging the rope. You have to have the feel of it letting the end of the go. Now better, yes, yes. Yes. Now you communicate with the rock better because you maintain better tension here. Now the second part here. So your problem is you, you tend to drag early here. That means that instead of dragging it all the way, you have to let it go here. Now let's practice that. So when you hold the rope, normally like this, remove the left hand, keep the left hand in somewhere. Now using right, right arm only. So what the right arm does is uh, extend here and then fold it here to this position. And then the right arm stays uh, quite tightly close to the chest here instead of going loose here. So extend, fold here, extend, fold here. With this action, you are throwing the rope. Now the ball is here. You want to throw the head behind the ball and hit it here. Instead of Hands traveling this way here, you have to let the end go here and the throw. And then try to throw the end of the rope. But still, at the end, you have to maintain good tension. Ah, 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 your, hand is, your hand is coming in too much. So, your hand actually, instead of your hand traveling like this, your hand is coming here, let the end of the rope go in front of you. Is that rope? Yeah. You have to let it go so that it uh, hits the ball and then coming up here. So your head should not come in too much, too early. Yeah, yeah. That fit here. So you have to let it go. So as if there is a target, another target here, on the way down you want to hit that target. And then, you know to make this easier, that you have to maintain good tension here. Imagine that you have good tension here, that as soon as you start moving the shoulder, the rope will respond then you can throw it. But if you lose the tension here, then as the body turns and the arm comes all the way here, still the rope is not moving that much. Mm -hmm. Then you have this dragging motion. What do you mean by tension? How do I lose that? So if you don't continuously throw it all the way, when you continuously throw all the way, then you see where the, the end and the goals here. Is it more counter motion that you need to create tension? No, no, just throw. Have the feel of throwing all the way here. Instead of whoop and then uh, let it drop here. You have to throw all the way. Make a big arc around the body. Ah, this is too quick. So here, the goal is to move this thing around here instead of quickly move body move. Yeah, like that. So you have to control the motion of the end of oh, the arm is uh, going out too much, too much. Keep it close. And then t use the shoulder turn and throw, yes. Shoulder turn and throw. Hmm. Ah, still, the, you are losing the tension quite a bit. So again, watch this. So in the back swing, you hear this whoosh sound. 
because I draw this fast enough. So you need to have a faster backswing. That way it's easier to uh, maintain good tension. It's too slow. Mm -hmm. The backswing is not moving the arm like this. Rather, throw the end of the rope. 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 Give enough speed to the end of the rope. You're using the arms here. Then you are stopping. And bring it, bring it higher. The hand should be a bit higher. So at the, at the top of the swing, go here. Keep the arm tight to the body here, so that uh, you have a good connection between the arm and the, the, the body. And then, when you have good tension, you of course like this. So when you have good tension here, as you start, the rope will respond mm -hmm. right away. So maintain this good tension. Hold it a bit shorter than that, so uh, it's too short. Maybe keep this much slack here. Oh no, hands are coming in too much. So this is the same to what you, are, you, you guys are currently working on. So to try to go more outward here instead of dropping here. So, let's do this. Hold the end of the rope with your left hand here. And then pull that you have good tension here. From here, turn the body and then throw. Maintain this tension and then throw. Go here. And hold it. Like this. So maintain this tension, and as the shoulder turns, and try to throw the ball. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Using the shoulder turn and the throw. Yes. Once you feel it, then you don't have to hold it by just simply going here and the throw. Yeah. So now, so when, when that happens, initially you will just do this and throw. Once you feel that, you can do this without, without you. But again, in, in, in doing this, your goal is to move the end of the rope fast enough for here. Is that rope? It's going, you know, too much. You have to let this go out. Now, there's one, one way to do this. So stay there. Aim this point here. It's not long enough, so you will not be able to hit this, but move the rope like this. Yeah, yeah. So try to reach out a bit more. Bring the hands, the right hands higher. Instead, look at this. Jeff, look at this. Instead of going like this, Keep the arm tight, and then bring the shoulder high. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the back swing should be faster so that we can hear the whoosh sound. Yeah. And then also in the back swing, the same thing. In the back swing, so from here, if you lose the tension, what happens is in the back swing you turn a lot and then rope responds later. Instead, just move it. Here, 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 here. So even this side here, when you start the back swing, the rope has to respond early so that you can throw the end of the rope around your body. But when you lose tension, then always your hand goes uh, too far out.
maintain maintain the tension. You are you are moving. You are working with the rope. Your goal is to move the end of the rope faster here. Yeah. Now let's use both hands. Maintain similar feel. So you are throwing throwing it more this way here instead of bringing the hands this way too too early. Bring the hands higher in the back. Yeah, there. Try to let the end of the rope go more outward. Yes, yes, yes. And then, at the end of the back swing, your shoulder continuously turn, wind up, and then let it go. Wind up, and let it go. Wind up, and let it go. It's a continuous motion. Okay. Ah, the hands are leaving too much. Still, the hands are leaving too much. So here. If you really want to hit something hard with the rope, then the end of the rope should have good speed. So for example here, if you try to hit this thing here, end of the rope should have good speed here. And like this. Instead of you're pulling the hand here. This has to go, this has to catch up and then Hard. So you have to keep the speed to the end of the rope. So you're moving the end of the rope around. <coughs> uh, let's do this. Let's do this. So uh, use both hands. Go to the top. Now I will hold. I'll hold it here. So try to start the downswing by turning your shoulders. Yes. You have to have this tension here. So in order to use the, the body well at the beginning of the downswing, you must have good tension here. So I will release this at the three, and then you are swinging, okay? One, two, three. You have to pull, you have to pull, and then just let it go. One, two, three. Ah, lately, lately. So if you are just uh, turning here, then try to use this instead. So watch my swing carefully. Whether I swing it really hard or not, I can move the end of the rope really well here. So even just easy motion here. This one, yeah. So you have to speed up the rope here. But if you waste this time here, then you have to work hard at the end. So try to uh, awaken your body early on in the downstream. Ah, ah, part of the reason, part of the reason is you start turning while you're shifting at the same time. So from here, as you start turn, your body is shifting as well. When the body is shifting like this, then it's hard to really throw because uh, the shoulder turn is responding to the body motion and then try to use the arm again. So instead, that shift motion should be done during the back swing. So let's practice this. Keep the arms here. And then as you have a back swing turn here, as a turn, push the ground to go with the right leg push and the shift like this. Yeah. So this recentering motion mm -hmm. has to occur earlier during the back. Oh, okay. No need to no need to move this way a lot. Okay. It's simply shift away and then just recentering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this motion should occur during the back. Yeah. So by the time you you try to start the downswing, mm -hmm. already you have in good position here. So you don't have to shift anymore. Kick the ground and then turn the shoulder. Okay. So go to recenter early and then kicking the ground in the turn. Okay. With that, you can have a more throwing action. 
Ah, shift it too much. Too much shift. You don't have to shift that much. Just to go shift away in the slight descent. This is all you need. And then keep the ground and turn. Yeah. So by the time you finish the backswing, you are ready to go with the bike kicking the ground and let it go. But from here, if you shift and turn at the same time, you cannot turn actively. So then the slow turn and then your arms act later. <coughs> to push leg kick, leg kick, uh, narrow, yeah, narrow stand, yeah, that's good, kick, hmm. and then in doing that, we we'll drop the arms here, so we'll swing the arms both ways, and have the image of throwing the hands that way, throw the hands actively, throw the hands actively, a bit higher, yeah, and then also throw the hands this way, both ways. Mm -hmm. Instead of instead of go up and then you slide the first and then try to swing. That's why it's late. So you have good wind up. You're ready. Good wind up and then just the turn in one action. Kick at the throw. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that you lose time and also you cannot start active turn early on. Yes, yes, yes. So, look at this. Throw, 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 throw. Both ways, throw actively, throw actively. Keep the arms a bit lower. Yeah, keep the arms a bit lower. And throw, both ways, actively throw. Throw, 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 throw. Ah, it's not throwing here. <laughs> look at this. Throw, 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 throw. So the blood should be pushed towards uh, your finger. Both ways. Mm -hmm. So when you throw this way, you have the image of uh, reaching out and touching something. Throw and touch, throw and touch, throw and touch. In order to do that, as you throw, at the same time you have to push the ground and then bring this side up. And then, so here, instead of just a turning here, at the end you should have this pushing action using the leg. Yeah. And then throw, that's a throw. And also the same thing, wait here and then throw in one action. Throw, throw both ways. So have a similar, almost a symmetric motion. Your goal is not to just to go up here and try to swing hard this way, but both ways equally. Just throw this out, throw this out, throw, throw. And then narrow, uh, narrow down the, uh, the stance. And the no, need to, no need to slide this back a lot. Just to try to stay tall. Okay. Throw, throw up, throw up, throw up, throw up. Throw up, throw up, throw up, yeah. Again, stance, narrow, narrow stance. Both ways, throw, throw, throw the hands, throw the hands, throw the hands, throw the hands, yes, now this better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a bit closer to a throwing action. Really, it feels like I'm just throwing my hand. So both ways, both ways you just, Throw. And then, particularly for the hands, instead of going this way here, try to flip the hands like this, the right hand. And at the same thing, this way. Yeah, yeah. Throw, throw. Use the legs and kick. Use the legs and then kick, kick, kick. Throw, throw up, throw up, throw up. Now. One thing you have to be careful is as you throw this way, go here, and when you start the downswing, do not bring this down here and go this way. Instead, maintain it. Just maintain this arm position. And from here, here's your target here, in one action, just to keep throw motion here. So what happens is when you go up and then drop this, 
then the pelvis has to slide. So then you lose timing. But instead of, instead of weaving like this, just to go up and maintain this position, and then throw. Mm. Mm. Yep. Then the motion becomes a lot simpler. Throw, 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 throw. Now with that, as you swing the rope also, have the feel of throwing this way, throwing this way, instead of go and then pull here. Yeah? Throw all the way, throw all the way. Uh, longer, longer, longer. Hold the end, yeah. Both ways you are throwing the rope. Yes, yes. Swing. And then in the back swing also, when you go this way, instead of uh, dragging here, let the end go. Both ways. Just to throw the rope. Faster back swing, faster back swing. Ooh. Swing, throw, 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 throw. Now this is very connected. So what happens when you have the feel of throwing this way, you cannot rush it down. What happens is you have to go all the way here. So you keep increasing the X factor yeah. all the way and then start dousing and throw. Throw. Is that? Mm, yeah, yeah. Still a narrow, a narrow stance. And then the call is to uh, move the end of the rope fast enough around your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, now I hear the whoosh sound in back <laughs> Yes. You see? Now we hear the whoosh sound in back swing. So unless you let it go in the back swing, it's hard to have a sequential transition. Because what you will have, what happens? You just bring this up and then try to stop the motion with this. But when you have active throw here, then automatically you have a good separation here. Wait and then throw this way. Yeah. Again. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the timing is a lot better. Uh, using using both hands, yeah. Using both hands, so I have the image. And then also, let's say uh, here's a, a gum or um, something is sticking at the end of the rope. You want to shake it off. Then you have to release, release to shake it off. Mm -hmm. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, look at the shoulder motion now. <coughs> Wind the, let it go. Because you are really throwing here. So you have more active shoulder turning. With that, throw this way, throw this way, throw this way. So this is the idea. Again. Swinging. And then also, as you swing, as you swing, it's okay to have a, a little of a up and down motion. So the up and down motion is coming from this side up and this side up, this side up, throw and this side up, this side up. The leg should be extended. So have a little of a up and down motion. Okay. Now let me record uh, the rope swing so that I can show you. Okay, ready, go. Okay, rhythmic motion, throw both ways. Oh, good. Okay, look at this. Oh, okay, rhythmic motion, throw both ways. Oh, good. Okay. Now I can see the leg action in the back swing. Yeah. But the back swing can be a bit faster. Yeah. 
But faster, but if you lose the control of the end of, end of the rope, then it will hit you very hard. Mm -hmm. So why do you have an active throw here, but you have nicely slow it down? It's more of a, active here, mm. and slow it down because I'm moving the other way. No, no, so you don't have to go that early. So wait until this is completed. Okay. So actually add extra shoulder turn in the back swing direction, at the end of the back swing. No rush to a uh, thousand. Okay. Good throw and then extra shoulder turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, now the downswing is coming from the shoulder motion first. Because you have good shoulder line there. Yeah. Then you don't have to shift as you turn and then try to use the arms. So now the motion is a lot simpler. And the image, the triangular space here, is narrow here. So you don't move your head that much. But this is wide here. So your pelvis can move more. Straighten this side, and then straighten this side, straighten this side, straighten this side. So the pelvis can move more. So combine your body motion in this triangular space. Yes. Yeah, now you're, you're controlling the open up there. So the language you're using in communication with the work is the tension. Yeah. So as long as you maintain good tension, then you will be able to control the rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you lose the tension, then as your body turns, still there's no response from the rope. So that's why rope responds late. Now, Again, it can be as simple as this. For me, the motion is not that active here. It's a quite easy motion, right? But I still give good speed to the rope here. So I don't lose the tension. I always maintain the tension. Throw, 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 throw. So you have to uh, feel the tension in the rope. Your goal is to control the tension in the rope. Mm. So when you turn, you have to wait until this actually catches up here. Instead of quickly going this way, you are actually throwing this around, this around, this around. So for example, if you walk with the rope here, when you walk, you have to feel the rope motion, then you have to control the motion. So you should be able to control the rope motion nicely as you take steps. So let's see if uh, you can do this. Okay. Yeah. You have to. Uh, you have to really use the rope. Yeah. Match your motion with the rope. Relax, relax, and then have more active body motion. Body motion. Active body motion. Kick, 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 kick. Key, key, yeah. Now you can uh, work with the rope. The same thing, when you have a fast rotation of the rope, still, you have to pay attention to the motion at the end. So the key here is try to make a large arc around. Try to reach out more around. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That's the idea. That's the idea. So when you let it go around, if you're it's getting heavier. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. Yep. Yep. It's the same. So when it's a rope or it's a curve, if it's a club, if it's rigid, you can manipulate with your, your hand motion. So sometimes if your body motion is not right, but still you can manipulate it. But with the rope, because it's flexible, it's hard to manipulate. Then the only way you can swing the rope correctly is to actually guide it correctly. Now again, try to have the sense of reaching out, making a large arc around, and then promote the good end of the rope motion. Yeah. Let it go, let it go, 
Give extra shoulder turn at the end. Throw. Extra shoulder turn. Step on right. Wind up. Unwind. 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 Wind up. Unwind. Like that. So the motion is made coming from shoulder turn and then let it go. Instead of just a turn here. And then as you uh, turn, you shift at the same time and you try to use the arm the later here. So when you do the rope swing a lot, gradually your motion pattern will change. And then the keys have the image of throwing outward, throwing outward. Just making a big circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So when you maintain good tension, then swing plane becomes really consistent. Both ways.